from New Puning Valley. And this is our mothership for all of our projects internationally. And as you can see, we're getting very close to opening. It'll be September. And uh, I want to thank you all for all your support. I know it's been uh, it's been quite a journey since 2011 and all of you voting for us for CNN. Um, and then after CNN Euro thing, we still had to raise money. We're still looking for money <laughs> to complete our projects, but we have a lot of confidence it's not going to be a problem. Right now, hyperbiotics, uh, if you look on my Facebook and look on our website, you'll see that hyperbiotics, any money that you donate through them, they will double. So it's a beautiful time to keep it when we say hi. I'm going to take um, Eric over to the, the old clinic site where we had two babies last night, and you get to see some of the babies and moms. But I just thought you might want to see one of the new birthdays. I love you. Come back to the public and we love you. And then let's just walk out the Yeah, let's walk. brand new baby oh, yeah. Salomo he was born last night he's tiny he's two kilo six hundred uh, first time mom she had a long labor and she was so brave yeah he is so beautiful and he's breastfeeding well really quiet and quite when you sweet you do bike he's just gorgeous now this mom had a really long labor and if she had gone somewhere else she would have definitely had a cesarean and instead she had a really empowering really gentle beautiful birth exactly how she wanted it 
We're really proud of this mom, and of this baby, and the dad. Hey, even we could, yeah. Sama bapak juga. Ibu Yuyun, the mother of this beautiful baby boy. The papa. You want to sit next to me closer? <laughs> Two kilos, six hundred. Nice and nice and compact, perfect size. How big is he? Nice and he's two kilos, six hundred. He's so tiny. Mm. He's taking a nap. He boosts up around. Okay, I'm gonna tell him mom. You do it on five, mom. Not the five. She hasn't really had a good sleep for four nights, so I'm trying to put her to bed now. Mm -hmm. of our wonderful midwives, you see a mom in labor. Uh, Wayne went to school on a scholarship with Bumi Sehat. Yeah. yeah, so she's really, we're proud of her. Kada is just amazing. She started out as a volunteer and now she's on staff. And Gugmas is in a teaching capacity. <laughs> and she has been a midwife for 44 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How old do you think she is? Like 27 or <laughs> Not 44. <laughs> This is our acupuncture area. Here's team acupuncture. <laughs> yeah. These are some of the girls that make sure that all our um, families who want holistic medicine can get it. I used to be a Adaya. Nurse Ayu is, uh, is gone home for lunch. And the housekeeping here is catching up with snacks. Usually in the morning, these are all full of people getting acupuncture. Mm -hmm. uh, we have cranial sacral therapy. We have all kinds of holistic uh, uh, just ways of getting people the care they need rather mm -hmm. than just jumping straight to allopathic medicine. We do have doctors every evening. We have nurses 24-7. And that's our kitchen over there. And you can see this facility is really humble and really small. Uh, I'm sure we'll make the other facility just as loving. There's always kids that when we say hot playing. Day is one of our nurses. And is that hot yoga? Hot yoga in the back there. He's also a nurse. Yeah. But Yogi has two children, both born here. Yeah. He, you know those night shifts. Got together with one of our midwives. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our office, which looks like an office, a midwife's bedroom, which we never get to sleep in, but we do flop down sometimes. So it's pretty, it's pretty wonderful. We love it. We're so happy to move, but we are going to miss this building. Have about 7,000 babies born here. Wow. Yeah. 7,000 7, babies born here. Yeah. Beautiful. It's been an honor to serve all these families. You see people from the family waiting for their new mother to get birth. The whole family. Usually the whole family will come and wait. People will take turns bringing food. And, yeah. It's really beautiful. And the mom can have anyone she wants with her during birth. It doesn't have to be limited to certain people. It's whoever she wants. We really feel like there's so many things that are human right for childbirth, for health care. Uh, in order to facilitate healing, you have to respect someone and respect their human rights. So we feel like we're getting better and better at that. <laughs> and we try to teach it. We do 13,000 young midwives and nurses every year have workshops here at Bumi Sehat or I go to their schools. Um, I was just in Jakarta last month. We did over a thousand young midwives and nurses. 
I went to Palambang, we had 1,500, and then I went to Maidan, where we had another almost almost 900 in Maidan. And just for half-day seminars on gentle childbirth and respectful care for patients. And how, like, being cold-hearted is not professional. Being warm-hearted helps oxytocin, the hormone of love, to flow, and that hormone of love is a container for healing. So uh, we really we're so proud of how the young caregivers in this country have really embraced the concept of gentle childbirth and respectful health care.